It's expected to be a 10 year, 350 mil. Oh my God. 10 years? 10 years of Mookie. I'm a little just kind of, you know, I don't know. I'm speechless, honestly. That That's the word I'd use. Because I don't think, you know, everybody thought Mookie would at least test the waters of free agency, right? Like the idea, you know, he was the best free agent after the season. You know, the Mets are getting a new ownership. They're going to have so much money to throw at players. You know, so every team is interested in Mookie Betts. Yet here we are with the rumors, the news coming out that Mookie Betts is signing a 10 year extension. You said 350 million? Yeah, that's what it's around 350. Obviously, you guys watch our channel. You know Zach's a massive Dodgers fan, so I had to bring him on. I had to get his reaction. Zach, how you feeling right now? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm on top of the world. We, I, I feel better than I did when we traded for him. Yeah. Um, and we made a video on that, and you could just go back and listen to how excited I was then and everything. But I... I honestly, I always joke. I joked around with you after like we <laughs> signed did. him and everything. I'm like, yeah, watch, we're gonna sign him and everything to an extension. He's I'm gonna test free agency. And in my right mind, not like my sports reporter, whatever you want to call us, mind. I thought Mookie 100% was gonna test free agency. Yeah. I and I. <sighs> Not saying I didn't like the Dodgers' chances if he tested free agency, but it just made more sense for me for him to test free agency. Right? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I mean, no. he he gets in. He obviously probably got into the clubhouse. He saw how great the Dodgers clubhouse is. I mean, you always hear great things about them. Cody, Justin Turner, Corey Seager, Kershaw, Bueller. You always hear great things about them. I mean, Matt Kemp didn't want to leave the Dodgers when he got traded. Puig also was upset when he was traded. So, I mean, the Dodgers clearly have great culture there. And, I mean, Mookie probably just got a taste of that L.A. blue, and he loved it. Yeah. I, the truth of the matter is the fact that, you know, they haven't actually played a regular season game yet. He had to have just fallen in love with, you know, the Dodgers. Like Zach said, the culture, the players, and kind of, you know, everything it stands for. So, 10 years of Mookie Betts, again, I always told myself it wasn't going to happen, and I would mess around with Zach telling him he's going to go to the Rangers, or he's going to go to all these other teams, but yeah, here we are, Zach, I guess, congratulations, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, 59-1 this year, baby, <laughs> <Stop>. uh, <laughs> but no, I'm really excited, baseball comes back um, tomorrow. tomorrow, man, that's um, crazy, so... It's going to be great to watch the Dodgers. Mookie had the day off yesterday, and Dave Roberts said it was for rest, but it looks like it was more than just rest. It looks like he was <laughs> in the uh, front office. and Getting the contract actually, done. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm happy about it. Let's. It's going to be a great year for baseball. It's going to be a great 10 years for Dodger baseball. <laughs> I hate you. All right, guys, make sure you do check out Zach. I'll link him down below. If you have not dropped a like, please make sure you guys drop a like. If you guys not subscribed, make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Dodgers fans, how we feeling? Congratulations on locking up Mookie. I, the thing is, like, I love Mookie Betts. Like, he's one of my non, uh, one of my favorite players. It's not like a Ranger or Cub, so I, I'm very, very jealous right now. But make sure you guys do, again, check out Zach. He did start a podcast, so go check it out. Go show it some love. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.